Food video, video, video. Uh, let's see. Actually, no, screw that. Let's do this. You guys are doing all right. seeing an unidentified flying object. It is not a hoax. It is real. The film was taken by Liam Hansen while filming Catalina Island from a helicopter. Mr. Hansen was a professional photographer working for the United States Navy. This film has been examined by photographic experts. Photographic analysis reveals that this circular UFO was about 30 feet in diameter and was traveling between 130 and 170 miles per hour. It has no wings, no tail section, and no visible means of propulsion. Mr. Hansen also observed this object hovering stationary in the air before it began to move. sighting is only one of the many pieces of evidence the producers of this film will present verify that some UFOs are extraterrestrial spacecraft. We will reveal formerly classified secret documents which clearly demonstrate that the government has knowledge of the extraterrestrial origin of some UFOs and is trying to keep this fact secret. You will see documented evidence depicting the appearance of the alien beings who pilot these UFOs. And we will present our conclusions as to what purpose these alien beings have in visiting the Earth. While in space as command pilot on Gemini 5, astronaut General James McDivitt saw an unidentified object approach his spacecraft and then move away when he tried to film it. One astronaut who actually chased a UFO while a fighter pilot in Germany in 1951 is Colonel Gordon Cooper. One of the original seven Mercury astronauts, Colonel Cooper sent this letter to the United Nations November 9, 1978 to express his view on UFOs. I believe that these extraterrestrial vehicles and their crews if I made a meal for McDonald's, planets, I just get which two of these more technically advanced large than fry here on Earth. A ten piece nugget or something. I am somewhat qualified okay. to discuss them since I have been into the fringes of the vast areas in which they travel. Also, I did have a 
occasion in 1951 to have two days of observation of many flights of them of different sizes flying in fighter formation generally from east to west over Europe. They were at a higher altitude than we could reach with our jet fighters of that time. We are showing you this film at one half its original speed. This unidentified flying object was photographed by James Waters. Toward the middle of the extreme right of the frame, you will see a second UFO that appears briefly. As we slow the film, you can see that the UFO appears to change shape from frame to frame. The object photograph was flying at a faster speed than any conventional jet fighter can achieve at this low altitude. Now you will see the Colorado film at its original speed five times in rapid succession. This series of three Polaroid pictures was taken by Rex Heflin. The presence in the photograph of objects such as telephone poles, whose size and distance can easily be measured, makes possible a detailed analysis of these photos. This analysis indicates that the disc-shaped object was approximately 30 feet in diameter. Mr. Heflin has never tried to use these pictures to gain publicity or profit. Another picture of a similar disc-shaped object was taken by Mr. Emil Barnea, 7,000 miles away, and three years later. Six years after that, another UFO, also remarkably similar to the one that Mr. Heflin photographed, was photographed in Yugoslavia. In a 1978 Gallup poll, 68% of Americans who expressed an opinion said that they believed UFOs are real. Uh, uh, that poll also revealed the higher the level of education, the more likely a person is to believe that UFOs are real. 13 million adult Americans believe that they have seen a UFO. This is an official UFO sighting report detailing the observation of a UFO by 10 to 12 people for approximately 10 minutes. The sighting was reported by one of the witnesses, President Jimmy Carter, while governor of Georgia. It could not have been a planet, a star, Meteor or aircraft. The president of Brazil, Mr. Kubitschek, released these four pictures. They were taken by Mr. Varanya, a professional photographer on board a Brazilian Navy ship that was participating in the International Geophysical Year. The UFO was seen by dozens of other witnesses on board the ship. Computer analysis of these photographs indicates that the UFO is a large, Saturn-shaped object a great distance from the camera. Similar Saturn 
egg-shaped UFOs have been photographed in other parts of Brazil and on the other side of the world. Have a good day. I love you guys. Goodbye.